You know, I, I actually, I think at the time of, of writing this piece, I had never played a flute before, um, which was both incredibly exciting and a little bit daunting. That's that is interesting. So um, how did you approach the instrument or study what the flute can do? I think uh, when you're learning for a new instrument, uh, the, the Internet is always my best resource to just be able to learn as much about the instrument itself and the repertoire and the techniques. Um, and after I did that, I came back to my original inspiration for the piece and thought, how do I get these distinct textures and timbers and sounds to to work on a solo instrument the flute um, because I think whenever whenever no matter what uh, instrumentation I compose for um, I my process is similar but it has to be tailored to to the specific piece and the sp specific instrumentation so it, it was a very um, it was a very enlightening process to learn so much more about um, wind instruments and, and how the process of writing for them. Originally, when I envisioned the piece for us, Melodies, I considered it to be a, a piece for a larger ensemble, whether a string quartet or a wind ensemble or um, maybe even an orchestra. But when I got the opportunity to write a piece for solo flute, I realized, you know, this could actually work really well. Um, so, and in the end, I think the these emotions I was trying to convey, like even anger and fear and darkness, we're much more nuanced on just a single instrument than it would have been an orchestra going back. It was, it was a very enlightening process. Well, I guess you'd have to really distill the gestures and techniques you would want to use for just one flute to convey those emotions, mm -hmm. I would think. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. And actually, that brings me to two questions about the piece itself. So in Forest Melodies, you go through a series of movements or, or mini sections let's say of the larger work with actual um programmatic elements and titles mm -hmm. and so Absolutely. i feel like you're thinking about narrative and of course forest melodies you're thinking about nature are those two things you often draw upon in your work yeah absolutely i think my inspirations have always um come from spending time in the outdoors um and some of that may be from the fact that i always get ideas um, composing while I'm on a walk in, in nature. It's just always where I found my inspiration. And if I've just been in the outdoors and I come back, um, I'm often thinking about the outdoors and my uh, uh, wonderful experiences in it and the adventures that I've had. Um, but I also channel that um, into awareness about climate change and other issues um, surrounding our only environment. Um, so that's been a a, a large inspiration for me in my music today. When you are composing or when you compose this piece, for example, did the ideas come to you, sometimes explicit musical ideas on your nature walks or when you were sitting in, at your spot in the forest and then did you write them down later or is it just kind of something that it generally inspired you and then you sat down at the desk and really composed it? Yeah, that's um, a really, really good question. And it's something I am, I am kind of considering all the time when I'm composing. Like for instance, I'm writing a piece uh, for a percussion ensemble right now, for a percussion quartet that the, the literal inspiration in the beginning was I heard the wind coming in through my window and making definite pitch, making uh, melodies. And I actually wrote them down and they became the main thematic elements in the piece. Mm -hmm. um, and that's something I've done a lot in my music. Um, in this specific piece, the actual notes were not coming to me as much um, as I was out there, of course, I brought my manuscript paper and frantically jotted down my ideas. But um, I think there was something very pure about just being out there and trying not to think about what the piece was going to sound like, and instead just experiencing it and being very grounded in the present moment, and then letting the process of writing it take care of itself later. And um, yeah, and what about just the, the aspect of narrative or program? Do you often write programmatic music a little bit like the way you had a kind of story or at least uh, thematic movements in Forest Melodies? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, I am always thinking about storytelling in my music. And sometimes it's very literal story. And, and other times it's a more um, raw emotional story that maybe would not be translated into words. 
Um, in this case, in the case of Forest Melodies, it was very literal story. It was that the whole piece was based off um, it, things I had seen with my own eyes in the woods. Um, and in other cases, it's, well, a piece I'm writing right now for orchestra uh, deals with two very contrasting pieces of music that I'd already written before. One of them is called The Optimist Fanfare, and it deals with these very uplifting ideals of almost being optimistic to a fault. And then there's this other piece that I'd written that is fanfare to uncertain times, and it's the polar opposite to the piece. And the story is these two characters fighting. Um, and in the end, I don't think that that story is any more or less literal than a story like Forest Melodies. It's just the way we envision it. 